आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find videos for practice dozens of articles videos for chanting and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration i am grateful for your comments and questions It really makes my day to know that unravel the thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life. This podcast presents excerpts from the book Unravel the Thread, the complete guide for living the Yoga Sutras today. If you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator, on the simple-yoga.org website, you can easily donate to keep the podcast going. On today's episode we continue our exploration of chapter 4 of the Yoga Sutra with sutra number 16 that says the object does not depend on being perceived otherwise what would happen when the object is not being perceived by a mind continuing the same thread of thought as the previous sutras this sutra says that objects in the world are not created by your imagination since objects remain in existence even when you are not perceiving them objects exist independent from perception remember that patanjali makes a clear distinction between knowledge and imagination in aphorisms 17 and 19 this distinction is relevant particularly for applying this sutra if you believe that everything that exists is only an illusion Would you be less inclined to participate in your life? Is it possible that everything in the universe exists instead of being just a figment of your imagination? What is your attitude towards the world? What is it that makes it possible for you to perceive anything? What is the relationship between your awareness and the world that can be perceived? If there is a relationship between your individual awareness and what can be experienced, is that an integrative, adversarial, or neutral relationship? If you wish, you may contemplate further questions. What is the purpose of everything that exists? What is your purpose as a person in the world? To what extent do your intentions, actions and interactions align with your purpose? Are your purpose and the purpose of the world in alignment? or in conflict As usual one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together Na chai ka chitta tantram chedvastu tada pramana kam tada kim syat another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually na cha eka chitta tantram vastu tat apramanakam tada kim syat na cha eka chitta tantram vastu tat apramanakam tada 
किम स्यात ना चा एका चित्ता तंत्रम वास्तु तात आपरामानाकम तादा किम स्यात ना चा एका चित्ता तंत्रम वास्तु तात आपरामानाकम तादा किम स्यात ना चा एका चित्ता तंत्रम वास्तु तात आपरामानाकम तादा किम स्यात Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will continue our exploration with Sutra 17 in Chapter 4. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work with a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. And thank you also for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time, Namaste.